Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. It looks like a name change at Bidet Macasca won't happen without a fight. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry and the Park Board are pushing back on an appeal granted today to change the name back to Lake Calhoun. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about this. Join our conversation in our live poll that's running right now. Boyd Hooper heard from you today. He is live in Minneapolis with more of the story. Hi, Boyd. Hi, Randy. You know, the sign behind me says one thing. Today, the State Court of Appeals said something different. All we know for certain tonight that what seemed to be certain suddenly isn't. Call it what you may, but today was a victory. It just messes everything up. For Barry Bryant. I still call this Lake Calhoun and everybody else I know call it Lake Calhoun. That's what it is to us. The frequent fishermen on these waters salutes an appeals court ruling returning Lake Bidemakaska to its previous name but not so fast. I think there's a lot of people that are really disappointed in the ruling. Brad Bourne, president of the Minneapolis Park Board, says ruling or not, Bide Makaska signs will not be removed. We pay for the signage around the lakes. The Minneapolis Park Board has no plans today to pay for any signage that says anything other than Bide Makaska. In a tweet, Mayor Jacob Fry said he too will, in his words, continue to call Bide Makaska by its rightful name, not Calhoun, an honor bestowed on a former U.S. vice president and slave owner. It's just another hurdle. Carly Badhart Bull and Kate Bean are descendants of the Dakota people who once lived in a settlement along the lake known then as Bide Makaska. Our children deserve to be acknowledged in these spaces, and we deserve to be acknowledged in the, these spaces. Yet the appeals court said the DNR commissioner who approved the name change usurped authority that belonged to the state legislature, agreeing with the group Save Lake Calhoun. It was a historic victory. And its attorney, Eric Cardall. I think things got to be done legally, and it was kind of rammed through. A ruling leaving in its wake. Confusion. Why don't we just choose one and go with it? Well, the park board is is asking the Minnesota DNR to appeal today's decision to the Minnesota State Supreme Court. The DNR issued a statement said it is considering that, but has 30 days to make up its mind.